But today, all I need is one point, one point, one point, one point, and I'm promoted. I've won the championship. I'm going up to Vanarama National Conference. It's not a good start. It's not a good start at all. I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome back my friends to the final video of this season. We're going to do a double live com. That's what they call it, isn't it? Is, is what they call it. Yes, that's right. We're going to be showing two matches in one video. I'm going to try and condense it down. I know I talk a lot and I struggle with that, okay? Don't judge me for that but today all I need is one point from either of my two game final two games of the season and I'm promoted I've won the championship I'm going up to Vanarama National Conference so what's all I need to do it's as simple as that so as you know in, in the last video I had that epic 4-0 victory against Bishop Stortford so what I'm really doing is pretty much keeping exactly the same team as played in that last game there has been a slight change in that I've brought in Archie Thomas onto the bench um, he's now got a little bit more energy so I'm putting him on the bench there ready to play but apart from that everything's exactly the same I gave him a little bit of a team talk as a team meeting and I was like get out there and get one more point and we'll win the league most of them actually ended up not in a happy mood off the back of that they were like don't put pressure on us don't put so much pressure on us that's why they're all like fairly good or okay um, rather than superb in their morale oops that was a bit of a mistake there but today we plays Western Supermare where are Western Supermare in the league ninth place there you go 62 points haven't had a bad season they were due to be in 18th place so actually they've had a great season and if we look at their recent results here in terms of finishing the league they're, they're not doing too great lost two one drew three and won one in the last sort of six games not done fantastically but I, so that means all we need is a draw Bromley however they are playing against Hemel Hempstead and May Maidenhead in their last two games of the season. Hemel Hempstead being sixth place and Maidenhead being third. So they've got it tough as well. Because let's remember, not only do I just need one point, but Bromley have to win both of their games, actually by quite a big margin, to be fair. That's right, there are 12 goals difference um, between us. So really, we've got to do quite a lot wrong in order to not do this. So let's just have some fun. We've got a proper team out this time, and if we win this by quite a way, then I'll play out my uh, my youngsters for the final game just to give them a run out and things. But this this could all this could all happen today. This could all happen right now. I might actually be promoted. I might win something. Okay, we are the favourites to win. Looks like they're playing a 4-4-2. A couple of players to look out for, particularly Tristan Plummer. Probably their, one of their better players. I think I'm actually going to mark him and close him down. Bradley Ash will mark him. Frankie Artis will close him down. He's a good player. And they're right, right and left midfielders. If they play like they did last time, we stand a great chance here. It's so true. <laughs> so true. The title will be ours if we manage a win. Oh, my. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to just keep our eye on the Bromley game in the bottom left here. Bromley v Hemel Hempstead. As I said, they need to win. So they have to win, and all we need is a draw. We're in such a good position here. Um, it's not a good start. It's not a good start at all. Here we go. Aji boy. Um, and there, Aji boy, uh, through to Ash, all on his own, and he tucks it away in the bottom, bottom left corner there. Brilliant, great start. Oh, we scored somehow! I didn't even see it, Archie Davies. It was, it was all from a corner, and it was very scrappy. But Archie Davies seems to have equalised in the most weirdest of circumstances. I didn't even see. It. Let's, let's, let's watch this. Kayembe with the cross, Dara Lee heads it, it then kind of gets caught up in a bunch of players, it looks like Archie Davis just takes it and controls it on the half volley and tucks it, tucks it in, which is lovely stuff. Um, meanwhile, oh my word, Bromley are losing, oh, whoa, 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 Bromley are losing 2-1 it looks like here, oh man, I can't even control it, I can't even control it, my, my fingers are trigger happy, there you go, 2-1 they're down, they will... 1-0 down, Thomas then equalised and White has now made it 2-1 to Hemel Hempstead and we are drawing. 
this is a perfect situation right now. Bill Malainen picks up the loose ball, get it back in the box, lad. Go on. Oh. And uh, Hamad Lawal here picks up the ball on the left. This could be a fantastic episode to watch, eh? Imagine if I get promoted after the first game, then the second game is just going to be great fun, lad. Um, this is amazing. 33 minutes gone. We're one all. This is fantastic. And saved by Kill It there. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Ben. Not very often I thank my players, but, but thank you. Eddie Ketty picks up the loose ball after the goal kick. Back to Archie Davis, cross to George Marsh here, forward to Kiembe. What's he going to do with it? Oh, and he gets blocked, and it's a wonderful throw. Jim Fenlon on from the right into Archie. Oh, lad. Keeping hold of the ball worked pretty well there, and here's Widrington. Bit of a build up here from uh, Western Superman. Tristan Plummer on a yellow card. Ooh, dear me. Ash. Oh, and it's shot wide. Shot wide any day, say, any day. I'd love it if we could actually win, you know. I'd like to win this game. I was considering just going, like, contained, basically, for the whole game and just, just not letting them score. Meanwhile, we've blocked a shot from Tristan Plummer and it's gone off for a corner just before half-time here. Bromley's still 2-1 down against Hemel Hempstead, so all is good, all is good. Heading to the back post, but the uh, defenders managed to head that clear. And it's picked up by the... Um, it's Aji Boye, who seems to be everywhere on the pitch at the moment. Tanny, Cl Tanny Cliff? Tunny Cliff Brandon Frankie Artis Widrington oh and cleared from Lee well done lad a couple of really nice players I feel I've got this season um, who I've brought in Veal Malanen being one of them Blackett Taylor again being another one Dara Lee who's coming on that loan he's been great there's been a few real beauties this season and so far right now we are promoted if it stays as it is they are looking a bit nervous I I'll, I'll I I'll suppose so but I've just giving them a bit of a boost to tell them that I believe in them and all that kind of all that mumbo jumbo can't believe I just said the word mumbo jumbo here's Ash on the attack for Western Supermare through to Green who's oh had a bit of space but it wasn't quite good enough 6.4 there's a couple of my strikers aren't playing too great today actually to be honest the whole team aren't playing that great it's Frankie Artis with the cross sh shot there Widrington picks up the loose ball enter the box miles wide and uh, we live to fight another day still one all okay on comes Robbie McDade um, I've actually put him in a poacher position just to try him out there really I think he's he is more of a defensive forward. Trying him as a poacher for, for a laugh, really. Western Supermare, to be fair, are playing well here. Probably better than I am. Bit of ping-pong going on here. Not too great at football. Blackett Taylor on the right. Fenland pumps it for to Rory McDade. Who scores? <laughs> yes. The po as a poacher, he scores. And uh, we are 2-1 up now. And Bromley, although they have come back into it, Bromley now, are 2-2. But this is looking very good, 20, well, 19 minutes to go and we are 2-1 up. Western Supermare need to score two if they want to even try to stop us winning this. Ajiboye, forward to Ash, 74th minute here. We are 2-1 up. Sutton, at the moment, we are promoted to the Vanarama National League. Uh, green on the left here for the Western Supermare. Edge, they've... they've Got a lot of possession here. Lee tries to clear it only as far as Ajiboye Wilson who scores. Scott Wilson, 75th minute, equalises for Western Supermare. Maybe I should go a little bit more defensive now. I do want to at least get this draw. Do you know what I mean? It's Wilson, there's the shot. Oh, and kill it. He parried it, but it was just, oh, it was just too powerful for him. We are going a little bit more defensive now. I've kind of copped out a little bit. A, a win would be amazing, but a, a draw is what's needed. Bromley, meanwhile, are still drawing. They are going to be desperate for that winner right now. now. 83rd minute, save from Killett. Well held by him. And with so such little of the game left, the crowd are on their feet. Eddie Kitty's on his own. Oh. oh, boy, I thought that was in. I thought that was us. Here's George Marsh. Oh, and it's cleared. And uh, it's gone off for a call. Five minutes to go. Hemel Hempstead have taken the lead against Bromley. 85th, 84th minute. L Lookman has scored. And we are into injury time. This is looking good. Ref, just blow the whistle. Just blow the whistle. Three. It's all over. What a game. 
We've won. We've won. The, well, we've won the championship. We've done it. We've drawn. Look at that. We have done it, everyone. With one game to go, Bromley lost against Emil Hempstead. In the end, it didn't matter what happened to us, but we drew. We are now. We've won. We've won the championship. We've won the championship. So thanks very much, everybody. There's the uh, the the medal. Yes, that is the Reading Half Marathon. Uh, medal yeah, I'm showing off right now yeah yeah that's amazing that's really cool oh amazing oh and here's the cup oh I'm just so proud I'm so happy oh thanks thanks Sutton win Vanderama National South low title Look, certainly look back at some great wins along the way we've had some most notable wins. 3-1 victory over Maidenhead 7-1 humbling of Wealdstone 4-0 against Bishop Storff and 6-1 win against oh, there were some great victories in that great victories so before we jump ahead to this final game of the season I just want to show you this look at the April player of the month Corey Blackett Taylor wins the April player of the month made five appearances four goals his average rating was eight but second place was also my player Karel Kiembe can you ask for a better finish to the season than having two players in the top three players of the league you can't you can't you can't Okay, so the season's not over. We've got our final game to play now. The champions of the Vanarama South are playing Oxford City. And I'm basically trying out a whole load of youngsters. So here's the team for this final game of the season. Pretty much trying out some players, some of which have never played in the first team before. Some of which have and are just, you know, who have come up and either done all right. And I've even got a couple of oldies in there. I say oldies, as in they played last season but haven't played much this season. So they're like one season of not playing. Okay, in goal we've got Mitch Walker today, and then on the right we've got Jim Fenlon, on the left we've got Hamad Lawal, and in centre-backs today we've got Tommy Holland and Kieran Kinder John, yeah, in centre-back, two of which, two youngsters, are both in the under-21s at the moment, neither of which have played a proper first-team game yet. Then we've got in centre, we've got Steven Schumacher, who we all know and love, and who will probably get sent off today, even though it's not even that competitive a game. And alongside him we've got DeMarco Radcliffe, who's been basically shaking some stuff up in the under 18s and the under 21s and I thought I'd give him a go he often is playing reasonably well for them then on the right we've got Ben Stevenson a right winger for the under 21s and then on the left do you remember him the hippo the hippo's back 22 years old last season he played a few games for me you know played four games for me before and I just I remember him featuring a little bit now and then you know and then up front we've got Cameron Johnson my FA Trophy wonder boy who scored plenty of goals for me he actually played eight he actually scored eight goals this season in the first team it's pretty impressive really and then also Victor Adebayeju who I bought at the same time that I bought Karel Kiembe and it's Karel Kiembe who's really pushed forward and done great things Victor didn't do as well he has played at least one game I think this season yeah and he's got an assist in it but I'm going to give him a try out today and then we've got a few other players on the bench who I'm sure I'll bring on um, as the game goes on okay so here we go today uh, against Oxford City in this last game of the season and um, player to look out for Oxford City is I think his name's Fake of Bolkiar, B O L K I A H. Here he goes, kind of taking a corner. Here. He's a right midfielder for Oxford City, good player. Um, so I'm just marking him up and tight and closing him down. But let's see how these youngsters do on the final day of the season. I feel like the rest of the squad, I'm giving them a rest today just so they can enjoy the celebrations. You know, they've been drinking already. They've been drinking since 9 a.m. this morning. Do you know what I mean? Don't know if I told you, but um, I've kind of won the league. Oh, and Oxford City take the lead, 21 minutes in. They're uh, throwing it all at us, aren't they, today? 66% of possession they've had. And uh, there's the cross. And uh, I think it was just straight in from Martins. M Martins, sorry. Oh, no, it was Nichols. Sorry, Nichols scores there for uh, Oxford City to make it 1-0. Never mind, you know. Win some, lose some. Lose some, win the league, isn't it? Okay, we're really not playing that well at all. Five shots, none on target so far. Oh, and it's half time already. Okay, out they go again. Oxford City have had far more more of the play here. And actually, they've got a few decent players here that I need to probably make note of. Andrew being one, Nahor being another one. So we've got Bolkiar, Andrew and Nahor, all of which are strong players. Okay, so we've got three players coming on now. Wes Harding is playing at his last game for us because, as you may know, he's already been signed up for a contract to move to someone else. I can't remember who, but he's got been snapped up by somebody else. Ville Malanen is also on the pitch now on left wing. And, of course, I think he's probably our top goal scorer this season. Karel Kiembe is now on the pitch. And here he is. Oh, had a cross into it, delivered into him, but he couldn't do anything with it. It's Radcliffe, Schumacher, De DeMarco Radcliffe, Adibayeju. 
to create Stevenson. Can he get the cross? He can to Kiembe! He scores! Yes! On the last day of the season, Karel Kiembe finishes off his season in style. That's a great way to end the season, isn't it? There he goes. There's the equaliser for him. Uh, ben Stevenson with a nice little chip in, actually. And Karel Kiembe rises up to nod that into the... Oh, nod it into the right corner. Thank you, mate. Thank you. I've just said thank you for a second time to a player this this in this one video. So uh, five minutes left. Crowd are on their feet already. They're done with this season. They're happy no matter what the result was. And here we go. Karel Kiembe, Victor Piaju. We're on the counter attack. We're streaming forward here. Bill Malanen. What can he do? Schumacher. Oh, Kiembe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in his second goal to win the game and to probably um, well uh, to probably win the league we have won the league there he goes there's a shot saved from Austin a great save to be fair but Kiembe rushes in he's like he's determined to win this game and he's determined to score goals on his final game of the season what what a way to finish 1-0 down it looks like we're going to win 2-1 here I'll tell you what, if Kiembe could get a hat-trick, that would be even better. Bill Malanen, can he get it across him? No. Oh, I thought that was a penalty then. It was not a... There we go. 2-1. What a way to finish. We've won the final game of the season. Look at this morale there. It's superb all the way. This is beautiful. And so we finish the season on 90 points 10 points clear at the top i'm so happy about that i couldn't have thought of a better season to be fair there we are we there it has it we've won the league we're through to the banorama national thanks so much for joining me we're going to be starting a new season in the next video so make sure you join me for that it's, i've got it all I'm going to have to fight hard, eh? In the next video, what we'll be doing, I'll be giving a bit of a rundown in terms of the rewards that people, who's won what, and how also some of the other leagues are doing. Let's see how we do. I think I'm going to have to do some strengthening to my squad, but join me for that. I can't wait for it. Looking forward to it. If you're not following already, do hit the subscribe button and join in. Hit this like button if you do like the video. And as well as that, you can join me on Twitter at WorstFManager, and I'm also streaming on Twitch now and then at WorstFootballManagerEver. Thanks so much. Really appreciate all your support. And until then, I'll see you later.